Hi friends, welcome to art class with Miss Palmer. Today I'm going to show you how to make uh, prints with a gummy eraser. So you just get a regular gummy eraser like this. Notice that the shape is a cube um, and you're not going to use it to erase but rather to make a design and to print. Um, I like to use the rough sides to make a print. That works better for me, but you might want to try the smooth side and see what works for you. You're going to use regular Crayola washable markers, and you're going to create a design on one side of the eraser. You're just going to color it in. I start with the light colors first so that they don't bleed into the darker colors. Think about how many colors you would like to use. Um, I recommend using at least three, if not more. The more colors you have, the more time it takes you to color the marker in. When you start doing this though, um, just play around. This is sloppy copy. So you're probably not gonna be happy with your first design. Um, if you are, awesome. But you're trying to figure things out. So don't approach it um, with the idea that you need to be perfect to start out with because art is about thinking and processing and finding out what works and really the only way to figure out what works is by playing around and making some mistakes all right and i'm going to take this and then once i get this done i'm going to have a little piece of tester paper just for fun this is six inches by nine inches and i'm going to take and carefully press. You want to put a good amount of pressure on the back of the stamp. Try not to slide it around. And really, if you notice, I'm taking my time. One, two, I would say at least five to 10 seconds. All right, I'm really putting a good amount of pressure on there. And there we go. Now, that's not the best. So I probably could put a little more pressure on there maybe color a little bit more. Um, but the idea is for it to come out like a print. I don't need to color it back in. Um, you could try rotating and doing what's called a fade. And you want to think about what kind of patterns you could do with your design. Again, right now I'm just kind of practicing and working some ideas out. All right, so I will try again and see what happens. All right, try it yourself and see what kind of design ideas you can come up with. All right, thanks and have fun.